Hey guys. Hey. How you doing? Here. Pretty good. Good. Good, good, good. Thanks for meeting with me today. I have questions for you people because I'm confused about something. I vaguely understand UX, UI, CX, all these acronyms, but I don't really understand them. So I want to dig into that a little bit today. Becky, let's start with you. What is UX? Is that like an acronym? Is it like literally a U and an X or what, what is that? So the it's user experience, I think. So that's a UE, but it's not. UE just doesn't sound as important, <laughs> maybe. UE. So okay. Donald, Donald Norman, the godfather of the term, he, and also he's, he runs Nielsen Norman Group. Um, while he was at Apple, he coined this, this term. Um, and he meant it to encompass all the aspects of a person's interaction with a company. Um, but lately it's taken on a more finite definition where we associate it with a single interaction that a user has with an organization. With an organization, or I thought it meant with their website or with their digital something, like what you do on a computer. It means the entirety of your experience with an organization? Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be digital um oh, you know it could okay. be like your your user experience going into the bank to deposit a check or the experience of ordering pizza over the phone okay so the user experience is not specific to an app or a website okay but i mean in all fairness that is where we yes okay use the term most frequently and where we are at here okay eric so we just heard like i had mind blown a little bit on ux another fancy little term is cx again same yep. question is should it be ce and what's the c <laughs> no <laughs> i mean x x makes sense to me okay. um well computer ex or sorry customer experience is larger first of all i wanted to say that these terms are used by marketing people and consultants. And so it's not surprising that they're confusing because sometimes consultants throw out a lot of acronyms to make them sound impressive. But that's why we're here is to explain this. Uh, computer or customer experience, I keep saying computer experience, customer experience is larger. It also includes product or brand awareness and um, attracting customers the marketing aspect of it, and also cultivating the customer relationship, which as developers, that's part of the whole sphere of things that we deal with. But, you know, there's marketing, there's whole marketing emphasis that deals with a lot of that other stuff that doesn't necessarily involve building your website or your web app. But that's what customer experience is. It's, you can think of it as a larger Venn diagram that contains user experience. And as developers, and web designers, we deal mostly with the user experience aspect of websites and web apps. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to run something past you. I go to a, a well-known website named after um, a disappearing place in South America that's really important for our environment, but we can go into that at a different time. I go to that website. And um, I can find everything I need. I got no problem okay. working my way around that website. Am I having a good user experience, a good customer experience, or both? Uh, I'll take that. Well, I would say you're having both. Um, the website is most directly uh, covered by the user experience term because that deals directly with your interaction with the website. And you're having, it's, it's all working out. You can find what you're looking for. You can buy things easily. That's what we developers call a frictionless experience or low friction experience. That, however, is a subset of customer experience. So that's going to inform your customer experience. You're going to think, wow, that website, I think I know which one you mean, is really awesome. We've got all this cool content and it's really interesting. And when I went to buy something, it was super easy. And so that informs their larger vision of your brand and it, it, it makes it a 
great experience. So that's the customer experience part of it. Would you agree with that, Becky? Yeah, I think he got all of the all of the points. Okay, so let's say I have a product that, or a series of products that I want to sell online. I am starting an online store. Where should I put most of my concern and my energy, or should I parse them out? How do I decide what's important for customer experience and what's important for user experience when I'm building my on, my online store? What are what are some of the first things I should be thinking about, Becky? Well, I think you have to be thinking about both because they do overlap in in that Venn diagram. Um, one of you know getting a uh, good user experience established feeds into the larger customer experience yep. positively or negatively. So if you focus on, you know, your design, you want your site to look reputable. That's, you know, part of the user experience. You don't want it, you know, pixelated logos or, you know, weird colors that don't like, I think we all know what we feel when we come to a site that looks just a little off. Um, yeah. so that's part of that um, cultivating that positive experience um, and then you want to make sure that your products are you know, photographed nicely so people can see what they're buying mm -hmm. um, the price if that is not you know some sites um, charge a lot for their stuff and their price tags are a little tinier on the page because the, the photo is what's supposed to draw you in so that you know deciding how you display the product details is also an, uh, a conscious choice to make that experience the best it can be and we're talking about the best user experience which is also just by proxy is customer experience because if you give a customer a poor user experience mm -hmm. if i'm hearing this right that that is having an impact on their customer experience. And I think a lot of business owners are familiar just with the baseline idea of customer experience. I mean, in the past, we thought of that primarily as like what happens when you're on the phone or when you walk into a store, how are yeah. you treated? Um, those are more of our traditional ideas, but they do translate customer experience translates into, um, the online experience mm -hmm. and it's so you you both mentioned that it's a venn diagram i'm i'm kind of seeing like almost like customer experience is a big bubble user experience is a quite a large bubble with it all the way within yep. that customer experience bubble um is there anything that happens and I feel like this question might be have an obvious answer, but I still need to dig into it. Is there anything that happens when you're an, a shopper or, you know, a customer on an online store um, that is that is outside the user experience bubble, but is still in customer experience? I guess I have to say it depends on if they have a brick and mortar store. Uh, right because then you could have two very disconnected experiences. And I'll give you an example of this. There's a hardware store that I really love to go to. It's in Madison, Wisconsin, fantastic place. You walk in the door and within seconds, there's a clerk there saying, can I help you? Tell them what you need, this little bolt, this little screw, they walk over to the bin, buy it, and you are in and out of there within like five minutes. It's crazy, crazy good, if you know what you want. Now their website, however, is a completely generic hardware store website. It just doesn't match the level of experience that you have when you walk in the door. I wouldn't say the website's bad. It's just not the same. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a difference. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you what are you going to add to that, Becky? Well, I was just going to say I think I know exactly what hardware store that is because of how <laughs> great the, the 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 how great the interaction is in person. Yeah. I wouldn't even think to check their website because <laughs> I would rather go there because I know what the experience is going to be like. 
Right. But to a large extent, if you care about customer experience, which that's an expectation of most businesses that you do, if you're trying to sell a product, you need to emphasize user experience as a priority in your website design yeah. and development. Is that true? Uh, for sure. I, I have something else to inject here mm -hmm. as a consideration. Uh, you know, businesses don't have unlimited funds, so they have to go, well, what should we spend our money on here first? And oftentimes uh, they land on user experience to have a really great website which I think they should. I think that's appropriate because if somebody searches for your company and your product, they're going to hit the website first, probably, especially when a lot of companies don't have brick and mortar stores anymore. You know, so, so the website is their presence. Um, and that, that's an area where there should be some focus. Uh, if, so if you had money to spend on, on marketing, or the website, I mean, website is marketing, but you can do like, you know, advertising campaigns or um, email blasts or things like that. If that gets really expensive and it to the, to the detriment of how much you're spending to maintain and redesign and pay attention to your website, well, that, that could be a problem because most people are gonna wind up on your website. They're not necessarily going to see all the email blasts or that. Right. And the goal is conversions and, and conversions defined as a sale, mm -hmm. the transaction. Um, so you have an amazing marketing campaign and that is part of your customer experience because your customers are experiencing you as a really dynamic right. brand that's out there and, you know, communicating that's customer experience. You arrive at the website and about how long do you have before you decide whether you're going to hang out there or not, Becky? Like you get to a, what, aren't there some statistics about, I think it's two or three seconds now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's there's really a lot of studies on this, but it's down to, down to two seconds. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 Right. So I, I love these little comparisons they make um, in sales. They say, would you rather have 5 million visits to your website and sell two products or have 400 visits to your website and sell 40 products. Like it's, that's the difference here. Mm -hmm. And your conversion is most closely associated with the experience that a customer has on your website. Yeah. Is that, right. is that true? Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad we got this cleared up because <laughs> It's one of those simple things um, that's so important that any lack of clarity can actually have a big impact on the decisions that you make. So I really appreciate your guys' time today. Yeah. Thanks, thank Aaron. You. Yeah. Thanks.